Hey you guys, Erin here at Eat Move Rest and welcome back to the kitchen. So as of late, we have been receiving a lot of feedback from you guys as we asked for, as far as whether you'd like to see more vegan, nutritious and delicious snack videos. And of course you guys gave us a resounding yes and a thumbs up, so we are here to deliver. Today we're going to be making a vegan cashew cheese sauce along with some sweet potato fries. This is gonna be delicious for any type of day. You can have it as a snack, you can have it as part of a delicious dinner or grill out with family and friends. Let's get right into it. Waking up in the morning, I can't remember yesterday. For your vegan cheese sauce, you will need one cup of soaked, rinsed, and drained cashews, a quarter cup of nutritional yeast, a half teaspoon of turmeric powder, and salt and pepper to taste. It's important to soak your cashews anywhere from 30 minutes, but ideally between four to six hours before blending. This helps the cashews to take up as much water as possible, making them blend a lot more smoothly, and it also makes them more digestible. And what we're gonna do is take our little mini blender here and place all of our ingredients into the cup. The last thing that we're gonna do is add in a splash of water to the mixture, just enough so that this can blend evenly and smoothly. Start with less and work your way up, I will also say that even if it gets a little bit what you would consider soupy, once you pop it in the refrigerator, it will firm up quite a bit. Let's get blending. So it's not quite as smooth as I would like it. So like I said, start with less liquid, add a splash more, see how things go. Awesome, so this is the smooth consistency that we're talking about. Perfect. So let's just talk about why cashew cheese is amazing. <laughs> Other than the fact that dairy cheeses are highly inflammatory, we're gonna save that for an entirely separate video. I will say that the one ingredient that is the star of this cashew cheese is turmeric because it's highly anti-inflammatory and it's an anti-cancer ingredient. Another important tip is that adding black pepper in with turmeric helps you to reap the most benefit from the turmeric. So this is a powerhouse, along with cashews being a much healthier option as a source of fat rather than from dairy sources. All right, you guys, now on to my favorite as of late, our oil-free sweet fries. So what you will need is three large sweet potatoes, a half teaspoon of onion powder, a half teaspoon of garlic powder, and a half teaspoon of paprika or chili powder, and salt and pepper to taste. First step, we're gonna chop our sweet potatoes into french fries, add them to our large mixing bowl with our spices, and a dash of water, mix them up, and then we're gonna cook them. For this video, we are going to use our new Kosori air fryer. We just got this thing in the mail and we love it. It cooks fries, cauliflower, tofu, all kinds of stuff in a matter of minutes. So these french fries, I think are gonna take 10 minutes to cook up. You can, however, use the oven. So in the oven, we put them on a cooking tray with some parchment paper. Again, drizzle with some water and cook at 425 for a little bit longer, probably closer to 25 minutes. Our fries are spiced up. Our, our air fryer is, <laughs> our air fryer is preheated. Now all we have to do, <clears throat> if I can get this thing open, add the fries to the air fryer. And then we go back to temp, 400 time, 10 minutes, start, and this will alert you to shake halfway through. So obviously, shake your fries halfway through and we'll be good to go. This thing rocks and it's super quick. Little man is five months old and we have not yet started solids, but he has been reaching and grabbing for anything and everything, including our sweet fries, including our cashew cheese dip. <laughs> so we will probably start 
experimenting really soon. If you guys have any tips or tricks as far as introducing solids to a six month old, then let us know. Shake midway. Oh, okay, fries are done. They took a little bit longer, about 12 or 13 minutes. They're going to be super tasty, we can't wait. So let's plate these up and dip them in some cheese sauce. You guys are gonna love this recipe. Oil-free sweet fries and non-dairy nacho cheese dip. If you guys like this video, you know the drill. Give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and join us here at the Eat, Move, Rest fam. As always, leave us some love in the comments below. Let us know what you guys think and also what your thoughts are on going oil-free. If you wanna know why we're oil-free, let us know in the comments below. We can put together a dedicated post all about the benefits of going oil-free. So you guys are gonna enjoy this recipe. Be sure to share it with friends and family. And as always, eat, move, rest, your best. Bye guys. John Slater, our good friend, our Insta friend, is now our real life friend. Real life friend. <laughs> it's been so much fun. Yes. Gosh. We just went for the longest walk ever. So we were just talking about eat, move, rest. It's not eat, exercise, sleep. It's move, get out and move. Sometimes that means just going for a long walk. And you get that social fulfillment too. We were just, oh, just such a good talk out there. In yeah. the sun. <laughs> well, we love you, brother. We're Heck glad yes. you stopped. Yeah. Waking up